Hi friends, my name is Jenny and today I wanted to talk a little bit about summer programs. So the term summer program kind of gets thrown around a lot, but summer programs are really a great way to explore your interest in a career, subject, or college. They take place over the summer, obviously from either one week to eight weeks in length, and summer program applications are usually due in the winter time to the spring depending on the program itself. I think that summer programs are different from internships because I think of internships as more of a targeted and direct way where your focus is on completing a set of tasks or completing a task, whereas I see summer programs as a good way to explore your opportunities and interest in a certain subject. So I think summer programs are more about learning and not so much about doing a task, whereas internships are more career focused. But I think both can be a really great way to learn and explore something that you're interested in and both can be very valuable. Another pretty common question is really what the difference between a summer program and a summer camp is. So a summer program differs from a summer camp in that with summer programs you usually have to submit an application, it's usually more expensive, and it's usually a targeted group of students who apply to summer programs. Versus summer camps, you kind of sign up and there's usually a larger range of ages that participate. And summer camps are usually more accessible because there's a lot more of them in your area usually. And summer programs, again, are very targeted. So they cover a specific subject and they're usually harder to get into. And they usually have a certain age range of students that they're looking for, whether that be you know sophomores and juniors or freshmen or people entering high school. Overall, I think summer programs can be a really great way to enrich your learning experience and depending on the program, really competitive programs can also help you for your college applications if that's something that you're interested in pursuing, especially programs like the ones I'll be describing further in the video. So first of all, kind of a broad overview in the world of summer programs. Looking around, you'll probably find a lot a lot a lot of options there's you know the big national ones like cty for example and then there's smaller more specific programs that only accept like 10 people for example and there's also really widely known ones and there are more local ones which both are really great and um, finally there's very expensive summer programs and there's also completely free ones so when looking at summer programs there are tons and tons of choices and options and there's really something for everyone. One common misconception is that summer programs are very academic and if you're not really into school that you can't do them but that's completely not true there's programs in photography there's programs in journalism there's programs in art in music in dance and theater in pretty much anything that you can dream of that doesn't necessarily have to be related to an academic subject so without further ado i will be talking a little bit about the summer programs that i've applied to and my experiences with them so starting off with 8th grade, in the summer between 8th grade and freshman year, I applied to this program called Center for Talented Youth, or CTY, and it's a long-running program that's sponsored um, in partnership with Johns Hopkins University, and I actually found out about this program because I had a friend in middle school who went to it every year and loved it, so I wanted to have that experience too. And CTY is a three-week intensive program where you study a course on a college campus. And they have locations all over the country, but the one that I chose to go to was in Los Angeles at Loyola Marymount University, um, which is a small private Catholic um, university in Los Angeles. And the classes are just held there. They're not really in affiliation with the university itself. But the class that I chose to take was cognitive psychology and um, I have to say, in all my years of experience with summer programs in high school in general, I truly believe that CTY was one of the most impactful experiences in my entire life. Being able to live on campus um, in a college residential dorm with middle schoolers, so CTY I believe ranges from 7th to 10th grade, um, so students from all ages really were there on campus. and. That was kind of my first experience being surrounded with students who were also interested in academics. And then in my freshman year, um, I decided to apply for two programs. One was um, Smith College pre-college programs, and one was an internship in, in my hometown. With Smith uh, pre-college, I did end up getting in in my freshman year, but it was 
quite expensive, so I decided not to attend. And um, in freshman year, I just decided to focus on other things rather than doing a summer program, which is completely fine. Obviously, you don't have to do a summer program every year, nor should you feel pressured to at all. And sophomore year summer was when COVID hit, and um, I decided to apply for this program on a whim. It's called Code with Classy, which I'm not really sure of Code with Classy. I would say it's halfway between a camp and a program. I mean, I think the distinction is pretty nebulous, so I don't know. But Code with Classy was also really, really amazing, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in computer science. I was in their um, two-week web development course where I made my own website, Bubble, and Code with Classy is really awesome because it's a supportive community that's only for women and non-binary folks interested in pursuing computer science and coding, and I think it's a really safe space for someone to try out computer science, especially if they don't really feel comfortable within um, CS or within technology in general, because I think it can be, you know, a pretty daunting environment because there is a lot of bias and there is still kind of a glass ceiling there, even though that is changing within companies. So I ended up doing Code of Classy in my sophomore year um, summer, and that was also really fun. I in junior year, I decided to go again, and this time I was in the mobile app development course, and I was actually able to program an app on the Apple um, Swift platform. In junior year, I just definitely applied to the most summer programs that I have out of any year in the past, and I ended up getting rejected from a lot of them, to be transparent, most notably getting rejected from um, Bank of America, um, scholars and I also got rejected from the joint science expedition project which is something that I really wanted to do I mean it got moved online anyways so I wasn't you know too upset but um it was still pretty disappointing to see it um I think it's important to acknowledge our rejections because a lot of the times on the internet we get caught up in the positives all the time and that's all that we're fed so we believe that you know people don't have failures but it is really important to recognize that to be able to succeed to any degree, you have to put yourself out there and try, first of all. And what that means is that, you know, sometimes you'll get rejected. And that's okay, too, because it's all a part of the learning process. In junior year, I was also really lucky to be accepted into the Notre Dame Leadership Seminars program, where I did the Power of Investing course. And this was also a really, really awesome opportunity for me. Notre Dame Leadership Seminars is a 10-day program that's usually on campus at ND, but this year it was online. But in the course, I learned about personal finance, investing, and most importantly, my team's final project was a policy solution to the wealth gap. And I think that the Notre Dame program was also very valuable to me, and um, it really helped me connect with the, both the Notre Dame community and also people who are interested in the same things as me, which is really awesome. That's probably my favorite part about summer programs in general, is just meeting people with the same interests and the same hobbies and even the same values. I think that, you know, it's really hard sometimes to find that sense of community, especially when you're in high school and when you're younger, but being in a cultivated environment where everyone is interested in the same things is just a really great thing to experience. So another thing that's important to know about summer programs is a lot of them are extremely expensive. So I wouldn't recommend spending a ton of money on summer programs if that's not something that you um, feel financially comfortable to do. I think it's more valuable to save for a college education rather than summer programs. That being said, there's still a lot of really great and accessible free programs, which I think are, again, a really great opportunity for you to connect with other students and to engage with the subject that you're interested in. It can be kind of hard navigating which summer programs are the best to apply for or the best fit for you. So um, I will be talking about that a little bit. So I'll insert a chart here when I'm in editing mode that will show um, summer programs, some of the more popular ones are ranged from least expensive to most expensive and also least competitive to most competitive. Generally, I'd recommend people staying in the more competitive and less expensive range and trying to avoid the less competitive and more expensive range, although this could vary depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something to really highlight your um, college application or stand out on your resume, if that's something that you value, I definitely think that the less expensive and more competitive programs are the ones that you should be looking for. However, if you're just someone who's looking for an experience that will enrich your learning and will be an experience to 
um, help you get used to the college or residential life before you actually go to college, I think that some of the more expensive and lesser, less competitive programs can also be really great. Something that's cool to know is that many colleges actually offer their own pre-college programs, which you can take a course at the college for a certain duration of time, usually like three weeks or something. For instance, like pretty much every single school will have this like Brown um, pre-college programs that are Dame, Summer Session, um, Princeton pre-college, John Hopkins pre-college. Pretty much any, sing any college you want, you can search up blank pre-college and um, find out about their programs. These are, again, really great ways for you to meet the faculty, um, live on in the dorms if they are offering that option. I know with COVID, it can be kind of hard and kind of experience what it's like at that college. Keep in mind that participating in a college's pre-college program won't necessarily increase your chance of admission for the college, but it's just a good way for you to learn about the school itself and also the classes and teachers that teach there. Another thing that I really see commonly with summer programs are research programs. And um, I'll do a whole video about college research programs and student research in the summer in the future, especially for high school students. But again, these are also really great ways for you to get involved with research and science from a younger age. As for where you can find summer programs in general, my advice is to just do a Google search. You would be really surprised at how much you can find simply from the internet itself. Um, I would say search up what field you're looking for and just add summer program to that. For example, medicine summer program or law summer program or politics summer program. And these can be a great way for you to, first of all, learn how to find your own resources because it's just a valuable thing to learn how to do when you're younger and also to explore every single thing because the internet really has so many resources out there and it's good to know that whatever you want is it truly is accessible on the internet. Another thing that I would highly recommend is checking sites like Reddit. Um, I know that Reddit can you know be a little bit made fun of sometimes but I have found that Reddit is really helpful to me when looking for different programs and other things that I'm applying to and I will link um, this reddit thread in the video but here is an example of one thread that I looked at when I was thinking about summer programs and it has a pretty comprehensive list of some of the biggest ones for high school students. Finally I would recommend using your network so checking in with your guidance counselors or your college counselor if you have one at school and also your teachers to see if they know of any programs that are helpful for you. And finally, when you're applying for a summer program, make sure that you have all the necessary materials before you apply. For instance, if this program requires a letter of recommendation or a transcript, make sure you get those from your teachers or your counselors or whoever is helping you with those forms. Also, I would just um, pay attention to your essays too and make sure that you're putting your best um, work down on the application. Also, I would pay attention to the deadlines for the application and whether or not applications are evaluated on a first come first serve basis or if there's just one cutoff for everyone because that's something that I've learned that sometimes scholarships and different um, summer programs are evaluated based on whoever turns it in first. So if you do turn it in first or if you turn it in quickly before the deadline, that might have a benefit to some students. Another valuable aspect of summer programs are that they're a really great way for you to practice writing and writing about yourself before the actual college application season comes around. When you are applying to college, you will be having to write a lot, a lot about yourself, your interests, and what you're looking for in life. And I think that many summer program applications ask similar or the same questions even. So being able to practice that in a relatively low stakes environment is really valuable and a great experience for young people, I think. Also, I would recommend that if you're looking for summer programs and you find one that maybe is directed at students who are a little bit older or um, in a grade higher, I would save that and try to apply for it the next year. Sometimes if you just try to remember it and come back to it a year later, you might forget about it. So it's really helpful to find those opportunities and write them down when you um, see them for the first time rather than trying to remember and recall them later. I hope that this helped you and if you have any questions feel free to comment them and I'll do my best to get back to you. 
Thank you and good luck with your applications.